Hello and welcome back. So we are at Queen's Bird in the capital, apparently. And uh, I suppose we have a loose goal of talking to the Queen. Also, we need to get the money of uh, the shipwright guy. I suppose we can step inside the Valera estate. Hmm. I did pop back onto the ship just to rest. Just in case we get into a fight. <clears throat> That's not gonna be an issue. I'm a little bit eager to uh, meet new companions. Of course, it's always a bit of a dilemma, like, who do you get rid of if uh, new companions present themselves? But it would be interesting. And I very much suspect that we're gonna meet somebody. Valera Ship Hunter? Okay, so this is not stealing. Sure. But that's stealing. Messing with that is stealing. Oh, there, we got Valera spell right there. <clears throat> What for, Cap? Aye, aye. So, that's not gonna happen. <clears throat> aye, aye. We can't, uh, loot that chest. Would you look at that? No, 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 no. We can actually pick that one. I'm pretty good, huh? Got it. Leave it. Some jades. Does that count as stealing? I don't necessarily want to piss off everybody. Requires free arcana. Oh yeah, no, never mind that. <clears throat> Okay. For a second I thought like, oh, maybe you can learn uh, spells. <clears throat> but that's not exactly how it goes in this game. So this is just a way outside. We need to go to the uh -oh, upper floor. Yeah, I won't be able to pick the lock. Of that chest without pissing everybody <clears throat> off inside here. So, but I don't seem to care about the like the minor things. Some food, yeah, a bit of food here and there. Patello Valera, Martino Valera. <clears throat> Let's talk. Ah, a new face in the Valera holds. Don't you guys just. Don't you guys mind? Patello Valera's face is lined and weary, but his coat is tidily buttoned. His posture faultless. I, well, I do care about a good po posture. <clears throat> this place looks pretty shabby. Watch you at your service? Nah, no need to insult his place. Courtly manners are welcome here. He inclines his head. My time is not inexhaustible, but I am willing to spare it. He opens his palms and invites you to continue. What can I do for you? What does your family do for the Valian Trading Company? Valera ships escort goods and merchants from island to island across that fire. The Principi dogs show us their stern whenever they spot Valera colors on the horizon. Leave it to a swabby from the Republics to think a pirate showing them their rear be a compliment. <laughs> the Olin chuckles at his own joke. Is that it? <clears throat> Martino Valera? A new face to the Valera halls. And aren't we all so excited to see you? Martino Valera grins from... Ear to ear. I always make time for chatter. Say what you will. What do you bring to the Valera household? Is drama 
An acceptable answer? His grin widens. I make sure the wine cellar is stocked, and that sons and daughters alike know how to carry a blade. Great. Oh. Huh. Time to see and not be. I'm pretty good. Is this stealing? Oh, trap. Trap disarmed. There. Lock picked. Just take it all before they show up. <clears throat> Let's take a look. It's possible to steal from those footlockers, I believe. Alright, let's, let's move. So, we didn't learn a lot. Perhaps we can interact with them uh, later. Uh, once we actually have a matter to talk with them about. <clears throat> Not sure what it could be, but I suppose we do know about them. <clears throat> Wow, it's night. Nero Bardato. Bardato Estates. Okay. Where is Madico? Where is that spoiled brat? A woman in fine clothes clutches a ledger in both hands. She searches for see she searches the faces of passers by, settling on yours with an uncertain frown. Are you all right? I'm trying to be the responsible one in the family, and it's a heavy burden. Laro is past due for a company meeting. Mother wants me to drag the elusive louse back by his ear. She tucks the book under her arm. Must be nice to be a layabout. Uncle Angbert would have tanned my hide. What is that? Fuck. I am angry and jealous in equal measure. You'd think this district was a maze, the way he manages to hide. She glances over your shoulder and sighs, then looks back at your, at you with sudden recognition. Fuck! A face from the motherland is a welcome <clears throat> sight. Old Vela. Well, okay. If you desire to get in the graces of the Valian Trading Company, we can help each other. Is that so? How can I help? Could I persuade you to watch out for Laro? I'd pay generously for your trouble. Hmm. Study her hands? Okay. Nera has been digging her nails into her ledger, leaving crescent moon shaped impressions in the binding. She notices your interest and holds the book protectively close. I... I'm concerned because Laro tends to feud with Orso. One of the local Valero rats. What do you... What did you mean by Valero rats? <laughs> the Valeras. A brood of sea vermin playing at nobility. She hats her ledger as if to bring it down on a pest. We squabble and compete, but Laro, the Pastenago takes it too far. Huh. Interesting. <clears throat> if I happen a Karas Laro, I'll let you know. Would you? I'll be waiting at the estate in case he happens to return. Nara thumbs over her shoulder. Laro and his miscreant friends carouse at the tavern, the falls above the Adra Mill, and the southwestern bridge. Okay. If you see him, tell Laro to get his good for nothing ass back home. Well, we do have this thing with chasing a rogue god to the ends of Aora, but I guess if it's on the way. Yeah, it's definitely on the way. <clears throat> Evor the Bright. Gone shepherds us all, traveler. Seek out his temple along the sacred stair, that thy path shall be made clear. Thank you for that, Evor. 
The Hazanui is at the palace, blaming the Valians for attacking one of their ports. Well, did they? Of course not. But the Queen must calm them down before they go to war over it. Alright, we came up. <clears throat> well met, stranger. Akira, but isn't this district a fine place? The Huana woman stares off into the distance with a longing expression. What are you looking at? She doesn't settle on any point of particular interest. Everything from the high buildings to the cobblestones in a, is a subject of fascination. She notices your attention and turns her eyes to the ground. I am not one meant to venture far from the gullet. Until recently, I... I had a respectable job at the Luminous Bathhouse. Un <clears throat> okay. Should I read the gullet? Colloquially called the gullet, the slums of Nakataka are home to both the Roparu ca caste of the city's Huana as well as myriad of colorful and unsavory figures. Built in a great chasm at the heart of Nakataka, it is where much of the city's refuse, literal and figurative, comes to rest. <clears throat> now that I am unemployed, I seek to make myself useful before the money runs out, and I must return to the Roparu as a pauper. Roparu is the lowest cat's class of uh, Huana society. She frowns and turns her gaze back to you. You worked at the Luminous Bathhouse? A wonderful place. Would that I could cross its threshold again and feel the mist of luminous waters. Her smile is sad, if genuine. In spite of my time there, I cannot do else but give it my highest recommendation. You will find the Luminous Bathhouse in Periki's Overlook. Thanks for that. Could you direct me to the Kanga Palace? Akira! You want to follow the road north, up the mountain, always climbing. It is the highest point in the city. Tell me about Queen's birth. The Queen granted this area of the city to the Valian outsiders. Here they organize their business and trade, digging up the archipelago with both hands and carrying riches overseas. <laughs> she glances toward the docks. In her welcoming embrace, the Queen allowed a similar concession to the Royal Deadfire Company. You would do well to see as much of Nekataka while you are here, I am thinking. How did you lose your job at the bathhouse? More happens at the bathhouse than cleanliness and ease. It is a place of meetings, business and transactions, to all of which the attendants are either blind or deaf. One day I overheard, more than I ought to have, in my airing, I gasped. To my great shame, I showed a most unprofessional reaction before clients. I was fired. And rightly so. She bows her hand. What did you overhear in the bathhouse to cause such a scandal? Akema shakes her head and lowers it in deepest shame. She's trembling, and it's clear that in her estimate, she has suffered enough without debasing herself even further well you could just use that dirt to get get back into it Merla how is every ship hunter taken and now so many guys I can't make any markings on the map <clears throat> No sooner do you approach the Valian woman than she squints and turns up her nose, regarding you with thinly veiled distaste. I only deal with serious clients. Now shoo. She makes a sweeping gesture with both hands. Excuse me? Ah, done. You are dismissed. Madiko. But it is impossible to find skilled work when every competent freelancer wastes their shore leave in the wild mare. She grimaces toward the east. When blood travels south of their brains, the value of a good bounty is forgotten. You give out bounties? I could take some 
off your hands. Exactly. You, a nameless face of the streets? <laughs> she thumps her chin and gives you a furrow looking over. I do not make a habit of shepherding new talent, but ugh, there is a seed of potential. She sighs to herself and peers over your shoulder before giving up and addressing you directly. We will cut your teeth on Biakara, a Juana sailor and would-be patriot who plagues company ships. Okay. I'll take the bounty. Gelarde. Biakara sails a voyager scale of Tangaloa off of Hasongo's northeastern coast. Anya studies you once mo more before shrugging and seeing you off with a wave. Before I go, I had some questions. questions? Ask your questions, Aimika. Why aren't more sailors accepting work? Ugh, but I blame Luminous Adra. She folds her arms and exhales sharply through her nose. Our privateers are busy escorting shipments out of the dead fire. Everyone is rich. No one is hungry. Oh. Where are the Casitas willing to sink their enemies for a bag of pies, huh? Drunk on success. So you're not paying enough. Farewell. Leave it to me. Whoa. Now we managed to go into the sewer. <clears throat> you duck down into the canal and find yourself kneeling before an iron gate. The reek of se sewage uh, wafting uh, from the other side is powerful enough to bring tears to your eyes. The iron bars are set firmly into the surrounding brick, barring any passage onward. Fire ability? You spell to melt the barks? Look for structural weaknesses. The iron looks sturdy enough, but you are able to... Spot some telltale signs of corrosion between the bars and the brick. Now that uh, the defect is apparent, the work of bending bars would prove a less demanding challenge. Send somebody in to bend the bars. She should be good. <clears throat> a loose bar snaps away from the ma masonry, granting you just enough purchase to slip through. Let's climb through. You carefully squeeze through the opening, stealing yourself for what comes next. Partial success. In the darkness of the tunnel, you hear quiet retching. You press on with offered sympathies. As you progress through the tunnel, a change in the air pressure catches your attention. There is an opening above your head. The walls are slick and coated with waste. But you find handholds carved in either side of a narrow passage leading up. You haul yourself out of the pit toward freedom. Out through the toilet of the Valiant Trading Company headquarters. Okay. Well, this is awkward. <clears throat> is the building in the same area as uh, as the one we are exploring? Valiant Trading Company headquarters. Apparently not. We are about there. Not Queen's Birth anymore. Oh, come on. I stay here. Am I supposed to keep a low profile here? Should I reposition it? Okay, Frost is destroying them quite a bit. What can I do? Or... 
Nothing's no good to me. It hardly seems fair. That's it. See that last me too, man. Okay. What company guard? I'll land the next one. Exceptional great sword, valium breastplate. So they have some good stuff. Fine male armor. Can I have a? Uh... That's basically identical, right? Yeah. Fine Brigadine. She needs more health. I mean, more survival. Where's the second Brigadine I got? Fine Pet Armor. Exceptional Leather Armor. That's really good. Base Armor Rating 8. Okay, let's, let's go with that. Medium armor. This is 9. This is 9 as well. What is this? Leather armor. Plus area effect. Maybe we gotta go with a... A breastplate. Just so we don't die! Uh, that sounds good to me. Fine great sword. How about exceptional great sword? Thirty, forty-one, twenty-three, thirty-four. It's more accurate, more penetration. Now switching to melee is definitely sensible when it's relevant. Yeah. I don't know. Maybe I should have a different button for it. Let's do it. I'm going to I'm going to have a different button for it. Switch weapon set. Yeah, let's save changes. <clears throat> okay. Got it. I kind of enjoy this uh, mixed style that I kind of have to do with everybody. What? What happening here? Hey you, that's company property, leave it alone. <laughs> Who's saying that to me? Uh... Alvaris key. So, this turned out to be a heist. No sweat. Yeah, sure. Out to the sudden. Sure. Let, let's just do a heist. Hey, if we climb through the sewer, we might as well just kill everybody here. That's how it goes. Me too, man. There's a wallopin! That dog won't hunt. So she's in the back. We can do a, a jumping. Projectile. How good is the we know what the missiles? Recovery time is pretty significant. I think that's beyond me. No problem. No can do. Company guard is helping me. Kill the company guard. How nice of him. 
What? I can't attack? Because he's with me. Don't make him a puppet. Alright. Sure. What is this? Heavy armor. Excellent. Exceptional heavy plate armor. Amazing. That's exactly what we need. I'm gonna give that to... Well, Saints of Armor is amazing. But that could be just really good. Okay. This is gonna make him super tanky. This changes nothing but done and done. This is stealing? Come on. It's not stealing. It's not stealing if people are dead. Find the loophole. Paladin of the five sons. That looks I do like charm quite a bit. Can you just go for a heal? Queen's Bird. So the Valiant Trading Company probably is not gonna help me or like me that much after killing everybody. Confusing the guy doesn't really help. No can do. No can do. Now you're gonna fireball everybody? I'm just gonna watch that. Is that only foe? Oh. I think he could have hit teammates as well. Valium Breastplate, Exceptional Greatsword, yep. Got it. Hmm. What's over here? Rice Vine. Scallywag's Hulk. Let's go. Guard Captain. It's not very helpful. Me too. I don't know if that's gonna help me that a lot. What if I switch weapons? Just deck him. This is futile. Well, doing a fireball probably makes more sense still than attacking with a sword. Oh, he has a good armor. Need something stronger. Great. Now you friended him. Is that really what we want? We can't attack him while he's our friend. What for, Cap? Well, you really done it, man. This slippery thingy. So annoying. No penetration. Wow. What the fuck are you doing? A lot. Yes. Son of a cur. Can you just do a heal? Real quickly. And while he's on the ground, you can just run away. Sure. Switch switch weapons. This is futile. Well done, a lot. This is futile. They just blind him. Quick, toss me something else. 
This is on double speed. I guess we're not dying, but he's he's dying very slowly. What for, Need something stronger. Exceptional plate armor. Oh, that sounds good. That's gonna help a lot. But who's gonna wear it though? She's so weak, I think she should wear it. So she's gonna rely on uh, reduction, damage reduction, and not uh, avoidance. I'm pretty good, huh? Got it. Sure. Okay, a lot of coppers. Not really making uh, friends of these guys. But at this point, we just gotta stick with it. We just popped in from the sewers, all lost, looking for answers, and a little, maybe a little bit of helping hand, and they just attack me. What are you doing here? Business took longer than expected. I'll be leaving now. Then permit me to escort you safely outside. The Night's Watch. They deal roughly with intruders. Okay, they don't know about me. <laughs> Healing everybody downstairs. This is perfect. This is what we wanted. Now they're gonna be like, wow, what happened? Let's just hire this new watcher in town to deal with these uh, sneaky bandits who killed us all. Well, ha half the, well, the lower floor. And, uh... And I can just solve it by killing some other guys, framing them for the thing. Valiant Trading Company headquarters. Oh yeah. Oh, I can't go in. Oh. Maybe I don't want to piss them off that much and killing every single one of them. Or do I want to do that? I don't know. A giant? One of the raffoon? No. Much bigger, such as the rumor. Hmm. Sounds like sailor tales to me. Is there anything here? Question is, cobbler? Are the headquarters in the open? For decent footwear, you won't find any cat leather around in my shop. Some of us hold ourselves to a higher standard. The merchant gestures for you to speak freely. Of course, come to. Let's see what he has. Book of stealth, meh. Stride and resolve. Eh, pretty unimpressive. No cat letter in the shop. That, that was exactly what I was looking for. What? Okay. The wild mare. Should I come back in the morning? I, I don't really want to go on a killing spree. That's for sure. Commoner. Oh, this must be the tavern. I don't have a voice for shanties these days. Too much salt in the air. Oh, Not that's even right. My Vithrak, darling. A ten minute falsetto per complaint net. Pretty big place. <clears throat> anyway, uh, thanks for watching, guys, and see you next time.